Mark. 4K laptops, 3K laptops. Uh, you guys are showing them off here at PAX. Can you talk me through them a little bit? Yeah, so let me kind of tell you a kind of big picture of what we're doing, and I'll get into a little bit more detail. So what we're trying to showcase here uh, is not only 4K and 3K gaming notebooks, but we're also showcasing thin and light gaming notebooks. And why do you want one of those? It's because whether you're going to school or work, you're a LAN party at your friend's place or even a coffee shop, you want something that's not only stylish, but thin, light, really portable, premium materials like aluminum chassis and all that really great stuff. And you also want it to look good. So when you show it off to your friends, people are like, hey, that's a really nice looking laptop. And one of the really cool trends that we're seeing nowadays is higher resolution displays. And we're seeing 3K, which is like a Quad HD+, Plus, Ultra HD, which is 4K displays. And what you're able to do is you get all this great, powerful gaming experience, but you're also able to play videos and game in this higher resolutions as well. Sure, so, so what, what graphics cards are, are, are necessary in a mobile platform to hit that resolution? So a lot of these are coming with uh, the latest 800 series graphics, as high as the A70M. So um, they're really powerful, but again, they're also more um, battery sipping, so you get a longer battery life as well. Right. So, I mean, we've only just started like playing with 4K in our office, you know, in, in a desktop format. So, now, who, who, who's this? Who's this really for? You know, is it for people who are having image editing? Is it people who are editing film and stuff like that? Is that sort of a target market? I'm just sort of trying to imagine who that PC gamer is. So there's a couple different targets. First of all, it's people who just stream content in higher than full HD. So anybody who is watching these higher resolution streams, you're good to go. If you're doing photo editing or 4K video editing, if you're out in the field, you just shot 4K video and you want to actually see and edit it in the field, you're good to go. And the great thing is some of these notebooks are starting at about a $12.99 price point. So very affordable for people who are just getting into some of these hobbies as well as the people who are professional. So, you know, I mean, you probably understand one of the things PC gamers hate most is compromise, right? They don't like to give up anything. You know, a portable platform is necessarily you're going to have to be, you know, working with a battery or like you're going to be working with a mobile GPU. So, is there anything that, like, can you sort of like reassure me that these laptops aren't giving anything up that I get in normal desktop experience? So, what you're getting with a lot of these notebooks is, again, smaller, thinner, faster, more powerful, and you're getting similar or close to a desktop performance in a very portable form factor. You also don't have to carry a big and bulky notebook now either. So in fact, a lot of those compromises you're talking about, kind of a myth of the past. Sure. So you, you expect like, you know, as far as gaming laptops go, do you expect 3K, 4K to kind of become the standard over the next couple of years? I think natural progression to higher resolutions totally makes sense. People are developing now in 8K and 12K. Movies are being shot in over 4K. So I think the content is really going to be there and it's going to be available as long as you have the hardware that will be able to take advantage of it. Absolutely. So I'm glad to talk to you, but I'm also kind of here for a selfish reason, Mark. All right. um, I kind of want one of these laptops and I know that you know Asus said that they're going to be here to help us out and, and give us one, yeah. of these, one of these 4K laptops to walk away with and get it signed by a bunch of developers throughout PAX and that we can give away to our fans. So I don't know, have you heard anything about that? Can we, can we grab that? All right, just for you guys. I think we can make this happen. Oh, good. So we have a representative from ASUS oh, who's going to come over and make this happen for you guys. Oh, hey, hey, Eric, hey. Yeah, how's it going? Great. Well, thanks a lot. So, yeah, we're going to run off in packs and get this signed by some developers, give it away. Excellent. As much as I want to keep it for myself. I mean, this is a crazy, this is like really weirdly light. So, right. so this, um, the predecessor to this, mm -hmm. got to get us Book of World Records for the highest land party in the world. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> so thin and light it is. So on top of a mountain. Exactly. Okay. Terrific. Well, thanks. Good to talk to you. Thank, Thank you very yeah. much. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, take care. All right.